Hi and welcome to this video. Today I have a productivity tip for you. How to rename multiple files on Windows. We have two ways to rename multiple files on Windows. One of them is a native way which is used for single and multiple files and there is another way using Power Toys which is more complex than the native Windows shortcut. I prepared some files to test and to see how it works. Let me open the folder. Here we have a group of images and let's try to rename them with the native Windows shortcut. First, we need to select them all with Ctrl A, and then we press on F2. And let's write test. And now, as you can see, we change the name of them all. Now, let's use the other way, which is Power Rename from Power Toys. Let us select them all again, and then right mouse click, and go to Rename with Power Rename. By the way, you can install Power Toys from Microsoft Store. Just go to Microsoft Store, search for Power Toys and install it. It's a free app. And as I mentioned, it's a little bit more complex here. So you can search here for words and replace them. For example, test two. And this is the easiest way. But in this case, all the files have the same name. So that's why we were able to select them all at once and change the name. But if they have different names, this means we need different method. We need to use regular expressions. And for example, we can use this expression. And this means select all file names without the extension. But first, we need to activate regular expressions in order to make it work. So after activating it, you can see we have the original file name on the left and the new name on the right. We have here also next to um, replace with, we have some expressions. We can add them to the new name like month name, hours, day, year, and a lot of more options. You can play with them to see the right format for you. Here we can apply it also to the, to the file extension only or to the file name extension or to both of them. At the bottom we have some text formatting and here we have also some options like include folders or subfolders or include files. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.